Good day everyone, you're watching Rate you Fixes. On this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix if your Windows 11 desktop is not refreshing automatically. Now, this problem is the result of a OneDrive conflict with the OS. So there are a couple of steps which you need to try to get this issue resolved. Now, the first step, what you will have to do is you will have to go ahead and remove the desktop folder from OneDrive. So you will have to do a go to the task manager or you will have to go to the taskbar and then do a right click on the OneDrive folder and then go to settings. Once you're on the settings page, you will have to go ahead and click on manage backup under sync and backup. So click on manage backup. In case if the desktop folder is enabled here, you will have to toggle it back and then click on stop backup and save changes. In my case, it has been disabled. so. Uh, you might have it as enabled on your computer. So you will have to toggle it back and click on save changes. Once it is done, you can close this window and then try to refresh the desktop and see if it works. In case if it works, well and good. Um, if not, you will have to go ahead and remove the desktop folder from OneDrive in the Windows Explorer. How do you do it? You will have to do a right click on the start button and open Explorer. Once you're on the Explorer page, you will have to click on the OneDrive folder and here you will have to do a right click and then click on uh, remove or you can hit delete on your desk or delete on this icon here you can hit delete key on your keyboard and that will go ahead and delete the desktop folder from the OneDrive folder once it is done um, you will get an option if you want to acknowledge the operation you may click on yes and that will remove the desktop folder from the OneDrive backup. And please note that when you are deleting the desktop folder from OneDrive, the files on the desktop won't sync anymore, preventing this issue. So, so you will have to keep in mind you are, uh, you're not taking a backup on the desktop folder. Once this is done, you can try to go ahead and refresh uh, the screen or refresh the desktop and see if it works. Uh, in spite of trying these two steps, in case if you're still facing a problem, the next step is to go ahead and clear file explorer history and restore defaults. How do you do it? You will have to do a right click on the start button and open file explorer. When you have a file explorer open, then click on the three dotted lines at the top right corner and then click on options. Once you're on the options, under the general tab, make sure all these options are checked and then click on clear once it is done and then click on restore defaults click on apply and then click on ok and then try to refresh the desktop on your computer so this should ideally fix the problem so in spite of trying all these steps if you're still facing a problem the next step is to go ahead and run the sfc scan as an administrator how do you do it so here you will have to open command prompt on your computer or you can go to the search and go ahead and type CMT which will give you a best match for the command prompt. You can do a right click on the command prompt and click on run as administrator. So basically you will get a prompt, a user access prompt if you want, wish to continue yes or no, click on yes so that you have the command prompt open in the administrator. So once you have the command prompt, you will have to go ahead and type SFC space forward slash scan now. So this is the command. I will also place this command in the video description. You can copy or refer the command from the video description and hit enter. Once this is done, uh, this will go ahead and run the scan on your computer. It will check for if there are any uh, corrupt or if there are any DLL files which are broken on your system. So it will do the verification, it will do the repair, and once it is done, you will uh, see a message on your computer screen saying that it has been successful. Once it has been successful, you can go ahead and restart the computer and then try to check if your refresh desktop refresh is working. So in spite of trying all these steps, uh, if you're still facing a problem, the next step, what I would suggest you to do is, I would suggest you to terminate the Windows Explorer process. How do you do it? You can open Task Manager on your computer. So you can do a right click on the taskbar and click on Task Manager or you can press Control Shift Escape on your keyboard. Uh, once you're on the task, once you have the Task Manager open, you can go to Processes and look for File Explorer here. 
So under the processes, you will see a, a process which is called File Explorer. If you have the File Explorer open, so look kindly look for it. So you will see a File Explorer. What you can do is you can do a right click and then click on End Task, and that will go ahead and close the uh, File Explorer. Once it is uh, closed, you wouldn't see the taskbar on your computer. You will have to press Windows key on your keyboard or Windows Z and that will open the file explorer and you will see the taskbar back on your uh, Windows machine. So after this, uh, suggest you to go ahead and restart your computer and that should help you to refresh your Windows 11 desktop on your computer. So this is how you can go ahead and fix in case if you're not able to refresh Windows desktop on your Windows 11 machine. So in spite of trying all these steps, if you're still facing a problem, I would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that I can come up with a possible solution. I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel.